Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Mocha Baby. This video is not going to be long, but I want to talk about something else that's going on in the world. Um, uh, once again, dealing with black women. I did part one a couple weeks ago, and so much has happened since then. I got to do a part two. Um, so without further ado, we're just going to jump right into this video. Um... There's two things I want to talk about, uh, of course, the Breonna Taylor case, and then what's going on with the whole Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lane situation. I kind of want to bridge them together since it's kind of similar situations, in my opinion. Um, but first things first, we got we got to chop it up about Breonna Taylor's case. Um, not long after I did the first video I did, they dropped down the verdict. And y'all, when they dropped that verdict, my heart broke. Being black, I got let me get closer to y'all. Being black in America, being a woman in America, and then being a black woman in America, I did not feel good about it at all. Uh, it was like, it really showed me just how undervalued we are. Because, uh, you know, on the whole, we know how they feel about black people. But it shows how they feel about the black woman. And, you know, I was watching a few things and on Twitter. And I discussed it on Twitter to a great deal. Um, and I asked the question... Uh, which is pertaining kind of even, you know, a little bit broader than just black women. But um, just in general, I asked this question, and I'm going to ask y'all too. Um, my question was, what has a straight white man had to fight for in America? You know, black people have had to fight, you know, just to exist. You know, gay people have had to fight just to exist. Women, on a whole, have had to fight just to be heard, you know, just to work. But what has the straight white man had to fight for? Nothing. And these, in my opinion, nothing, you know. They have all the opportunities. Not saying that life ain't hard for them. That's not what I'm saying. But they all the opportunities, you know, are there for them. They don't have to fight to exist. They don't have to fight because of the color of their skin. They don't have to fight to be heard because they got they got breasts in the coochie. Um, they don't a lot of things they don't have to deal with. You know, they don't have to you know fight because their sexual orientation is not what everyone thinks it should be. Um, so. They have, you know, it's a sea of opportunities for them. Which brings me back to my topic on black women. When I heard how nobody was charged in the Breonna Taylor case, first of all, it pissed me off. And then it broke my heart. Because how can a wall get more justice than a dead person how 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 does a police officer get charged for shooting for missing because that's what he got charged for for missing her and hitting the neighbor's wall how how how, how does that work somebody please explain that to me somebody please make that make sense how does that happen? How does how do you not charge somebody for wrongfully killing somebody? How do you award a family twelve million dollars for wrongful death, but then you can't bring up criminal charges on those same men for the same thing for wrongful death? Of this innocent girl. How can how, how does that make sense? Somebody tell me how does that make sense? Please. Somebody. It must be something I'm missing. I mean. 
I'm at a loss. How does that make any sense? How are those men not in jail? How can they go on with their lives? But this innocent girl can't. And it's just, you know, mind-boggling to me how, you know, they want to say, well, her ex-boyfriend was a drug dealer and this, that, and the other. But what does that have to do with her? She's not even going with the nigga no more. She been dumped him. She, matter of fact, she with a whole new nigga now. Matter of fact, and the one that, you know, tried to defend her honor. Matter of fact, how does he get locked up? But those police officers does not. How, how does that even make any sense? Somebody please explain that to me. How? That, that, that beautiful woman should not be dead. Of course she's in a better place. Because we, um, you know, I believe that she's up there with God. But still. I mean, why should she have had to go if it was not her time? Because somebody stormed into her house and popped off shots that hit her body. Because they was looking for her supposed ex-boyfriend that was already in police custody, by the way. Somebody make it make sense. Somebody please make it make sense. I'll wait. Which brings me to our next topic. Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Now this all happened around the same time. Matter of fact, it was the very next day. So Tory Lanez, Mr. Lanez, Mr. Lanez, he decided that he was going to finally break his silence and speak up about the whole Megan Thee Stallion situation. He got on Twitter and he said, you know, that, you know, he was going to, you know, talk about it uh, that night. I think it was around 9 p.m. I think that's what he said. I can't remember verbatim the exact text, but that, I mean, not text, tweet, but it was something along those lines. Now, mind you, it's the day after we get that horrible, horrible verdict about the Breonna Taylor case. Nobody wanted to hear what uh, Tory Lanez had to say about, you know, abusing, because that's what it was. A black woman. Nobody wanted to hear that. And not only was he did, was it that he was breaking his silence. Tell me why this nigga released an album. A whole album. I don't even know how many songs it was. But I do know the title of it was Daystar. Um, he released the whole album Daystar. Supposedly talking about, you know, chronically the events. And talking about the whole Megan Thee Stallion thing. You know, it's trash. That you would even do something like that. And then especially the timing. You know, why would you do that the day after we hear about that? That's the last thing you should have done. That was a clown move to me. Like, don't nobody want to hear from you? All these lies that you done told and are still telling. By the way, I have not listened to the album. And I won't be listening to the album. Because I can't support that. Uh, I can't support anybody who would shoot a black woman. Or any woman for that fact. Why shoot anybody? But the point that it was a black woman? I can't support you with that. And then you're going to lie about it and say that you didn't? And then make a whole album about it? Selling all these lies that I know you're more than likely telling to sell albums? So trash. He's bona fide. He's really bona fide crazy, isn't he, y'all? I don't know what he was thinking when he did that. I don't know what what, what his team did. He tell did his team tell him that that was a good marketing strategy, which I'm sure they did because I also heard that he fabricated emails that was supposed to be between you know his count and Megan The Stallion's count of Three Hundred Entertainment. Oh, it's just all so bogus. It's just so bogus. I just... I don't even know what to say about it. 
besides what I've already said. But I'm going to end the video right here. Um, you guys tell me what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the red box and then the bell, I the bell icon so you can get notifications every time I post. Stay blessed. May angels be encamped around about you. And as always, stay fly. Later.